ChatGPT just scored a 2 or a B in the Bavarian High School Diploma, which is considered to be the hardest in Germany. Just three months ago, it had failed. Here are the grades. The lower the number, the better the grade. What's the difference? GPT 3.5 versus GPT 4. And now, how good will AI become in the foreseeable future? Here's my assessment. On this channel, I advise you on how to future-proof yourself and your business. Feel free to ask your questions on strategies for the future in the comments. Whenever I give presentations and speeches about how good AI already is and how much better it will become, something I started doing years ago, there's always a flood of comments emphasizing what AI still cannot do today, how it makes mistakes and how humans are still far more intelligent. AI researchers themselves call it a stochastic parrot. ChatGPT doesn't actually understand what it is writing. In a way, that's true, but such comments regularly miss the point. Although today's capabilities are impressive, there are certainly still shortcomings. We've only had AI worthy of the name since around 2010, and fundamentally only since 2017 with the rise of the generative transformer models like BERT, GPT and others for text and DALL-E for images, which is also based on GPT. In any case, we are still just at the beginning, but the foreseeable future development will be exponential, certainly not negative. It's misleading and dangerous to focus on today's shortcomings when making decisions. I'm always amazed at how people deny ChatGPT's proven capabilities. What are tests like the high school diploma for, if not to prove cognitive skills? After all, we test millions of human students and graduates with it. It's constantly claimed that the system merely reproduces existing instructions. That's simply not true. ChatGPT comes up with new poems, song lyrics and scenes for Harry Potter, incorporating characters who never had anything to do with Harry Potter. The transformer technology on which the new large models are based does not just reproduce existing text. First, they have to understand the prompt, the input. In a recent presentation for the elevator company Schindler, I asked ChatGPT live what the number four has to do with elevators. And the correct answer came promptly. In East Asia, many buildings do not have a fourth floor because the number four is associated with death. It doesn't matter whether understanding is the same as human understanding. What matters is that the AI provides the correct answer and can explain it. GPTs or Generative Pre-trained Transformers determine the next word with the highest probability based on the prompt and what they have already said. That's precisely the innovation. The G in Generative means they generate new statements. And let's be honest, humans do pretty much the same thing when speaking or writing. The important thing is not that AI still makes mistakes today. The important thing is that there is hardly anyone today who knows and can do so much in so many areas. What is intelligence? This question has seen a lot of research and even more opinions. Max Tegmark has given a practically useful definition in his book Life 3.0. Intelligence is the ability to achieve complex goals. I would add to this the ability to set and to achieve complex goals. In any case, if we are seeking an answer to the question of how quickly artificial intelligence will develop, my focus here is exclusively on cognitive intelligence. How well can AI systems answer and solve intellectual tasks? So we're only talking about a part of human intelligence. I explicitly do not address here whether AI is or will become self-aware, whether it can replace humans entirely and whether it can empower itself to set and achieve complex goals. That would be a topic for another episode. GPT-4 passed a series of difficult tests. Why has GPT-4 now passed the Bavarian High School examination, while its previous iteration, GPT-3.5, failed? No, ChatGPT didn't simply cram harder for the Bavarian High School exam. Not at all. These transformer models do not need to be trained specifically for individual tasks to be able to perform them. It's a presumptuous thought to consider OpenAI specifically trained its GPT for the Bavarian High School exam. And even if it did, aren't we training millions of humans to pass tests exactly like this? Isn't this the official hallmark of quality of cognitive capabilities? A system that's just rhetorically gifted but weak in content, as one LinkedIn comment put it, 
doesn't pass a series of the toughest entrance exams for higher education or professional licensing exams for doctors or lawyers. Here are some truly challenging tests that GPT-4 has recently passed. GPT-3.5 failed most of these tests not long ago, but GPT-4 has passed the majority. The Graduate Record Exam GRE, is the most widely used admission test for universities around the world. GPT-4 passed the verbal test with a score in the 90-90th percentile, which roughly means 99% of the scores achieved by all participants, a significant improvement from the previous 63%. In the quantitative test, GPT-4 scored 80%, up from 25, and in the writing test, it scored 54, the same as before. The Uniform Bar Exam is a two-day test that law graduates in the United States must pass in order to be appointed as a lawyer by a court. In this test, GPT-4 scored 90% of the points. It showed similar improvements in math, statistics, biology, chemistry, and physics. Interestingly, GPT consistently fails in English literature. However, I'm confident that this will improve over time. Two things are astonishing. Firstly, the performance of GPT-4. And secondly, the true appreciation of its capabilities only comes when you see how poorly GPT-3.5 performed in comparison. And just recently. So I see this as a clear and understandable proof of the incredible pace of innovation of development in artificial intelligence. How do people manage to ignore all this? I don't know. Perhaps the answer is that they believe it's all faked and all scientists are bought. Everything and everyone, of course. And even if we take the most intelligent and educated people, they too will make mistakes. And in some cases, they will even make up answers or hallucinate. Without AI, you will no longer be good at your job. GPT-4 also passed the US medical licensing exam with flying colors, correctly answering over 90% of the questions. For a doctor to pass this exam, they need to spend four years in medical school and two years in an internship. A doctor from Harvard University presented GPT-4 with one of his most challenging cases for a retrospective diagnosis. And what he eventually figured out with many years of study and experience, GPT-4 diagnosed in just a few minutes, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, CAH. This condition occurs in one out of 100,000 cases. I want to emphasize that GPT was not trained as a doctor. Some seven years ago in the video, I said that after a cancer diagnosis that I could get in the future, I would only trust a doctor who uses AI, that reads all medical articles related to my condition and, based on my genetic profile, recommends the first, the second and third best therapy. The doctor should then verify and rationalize the information, but today I already do not trust an expert who does not use the best available tools. Thousands of medical scientific articles are published every day, every single day. How many of these articles did your doctor read yesterday and understood and identified potential contradictions and remembered the content and firmly integrated it into their treatment routines? Exactly. At best, one in 10 doctors has read five articles, maybe. And hopefully, they've incorporated their new insights into their work. Virtually no doctor, and certainly nobody else in any other profession, can keep up with the vast knowledge continually being generated. And yes, this applies to your job and your company, too. Without technical assistance, specifically AI in this case, you won't be able to maintain professional competence. GPTs do not need to know everything themselves. At their core, GPTs are not necessarily designed to know everything. Essentially and primarily, they are logic and thinking machines. Only secondarily are they knowledge machines. Their main function is to think and to assist with thinking. Anyone who mocks GPTs for not knowing something or not being able to do something should be aware of an often overlooked fact. What an AI model like GPT does not know, it can get through APIs, which is data and programming interfaces, from reliable data sources. AI will network with other reliable knowledge systems. This already happens today. For example, ChatGPT has already a connection to Wolfram Alpha. 
This is a platform that has been developed over decades, I think 40 years, and is very reliable for scientific information and above all for everything mathematical. It is the go-to platform, the go-to knowledge platform for such information. Wolfram Alpha gives ChatGPT computational superpowers, as founder Stephen Wolfram says. Wolfram Alpha provides ChatGPT with an enormous amount of scientific knowledge of a solid quality. Within a few seconds, ChatGPT can solve any mathematical problem and also explain the solution process entirely. This, of course, is also useful for all other mathematically driven fields of knowledge, such as physics, biology, chemistry, economics, and so on. The Khan Academy is a massive platform with videos on practically every subject one can learn in a school, college, or university, and it's free. This in itself is already an enormous help, especially for the poor and disadvantaged around the world. The Khan Academy now uses GPT-4 to offer learners an artificially intelligent tutor with perfect memory and infinite patience and empathy. In turn, ChatGPT will show the best suited video for a given task. And eventually, it might even create the video specifically for you. Now, imagine an AI that can tap into hundreds, if not thousands of high-quality sources. Expedia for travel, Amazon for shopping, statistical offices for all current data, law databases for legal advice, and so on. And yes, then also with your CRM. ChatGPT already has a plugin for Zapier, which can be used to virtually connect all applications. When I talk about AI becoming all-knowing, it's not because these AI systems need to know everything, but because they are, above all, thinking machines. They acquire detailed knowledge of high quality and their capabilities in specialized disciplines from already existing specialized sources. What now? AI is not just some important technology. Our human brain is the most powerful tool on this planet, so far. With it, we have created this world. And AI now extends this most powerful tool. Therefore, AI is not just one of many relevant technologies, but the most important technology for our future. Don't be deterred by the many cynics who primarily focus on the errors and shortcomings in ChatGPT and Co. That is just short-sighted. AI will never again be as flawed as it is today. AI will develop in performance and quality faster than most people can imagine. I will show how quickly AI will develop in another episode. The AI that knows more and can do more cognitively in virtually any application than all humans combined is with insight. In contrast, we humans will develop our cognitive capabilities extremely slowly. AI ultimately changes everything in your business, every product, every service, every process, every project either in your company for you or only in your competitors' companies against you. Those who still want to buy time with criticism of today's errors are harming themselves. As an entrepreneur and employee, you need a future strategy with an AI strategy included because you can't keep up with everything. You must have an AI strategy to focus on something. Your future strategy for your company must take AI as a critical factor into account. No company and no employee can afford to ignore AI. I repeat, no company, no person, not even the smallest companies, no matter in which industry. Here's a playlist with further episodes with my assumptions about the future of artificial intelligence. We're happy to support you in developing your future strategy with AI. We've developed the first AI-based strategies with our clients almost 20 years ago. Yes, and now we're doing this also for small companies. As always, have a bright future.